The year is 1676 in Jamestown, Virginia. It is governed by William Berkeley. A lot of problems were popping up in the colony. For instance, the colony was highly disorganized in many ways. Because it was based on a frontier political structure, the con colony was very disorganized politically as well. The colonists were frequently attacked by Native Americans. The grievan grievances were piling up, causing the colonists to want something done. Despite all this, William Berkeley didn't give a crap. Thus led to the rebellion. 1,000 people of all social classes united under the leadership of Nathaniel Bacon. Bacon was born in England, but migrated to America and became a farmer. It was there he became a member of the Governor's Council. Bacon marched his men on Rappahannock River. To get revenge on the Native Americans, they attacked the Pamunkey Indian tribe. This tribe actually turned out to be friendly, so good job, guys. Following this, they chased Berkeley from Jamestown and towards the capital. This ended up provoking action from the king back in England. But it's too late for Bacon. He died of dysentery a few months later. R.I.P. Despite this rebellion being kind of a huge failure, there are some things that made this really significant. For instance, it was the first time Englanders fought against each other. And prior to the rebellion, the rebels wrote the first document to demand more rights. It influenced the king to give the governor more power. It influenced the end of indentured servants and the beginning of the slave trade. In summary, after the piling up of grievances and Berkeley's unwillingness to do anything, Bacon led a rebellion that changed the course of American history. A moment of silence for Nathaniel Bacon. <laughs>